Okay, hello everyone. So welcome to the first part of this course. So how you can start using Gen AI technology for accounting and finance and how you can start automating your finances and accounting. So we're going to learn everything starting from the basics uh, to the more advanced versions of how you can start leveraging AI technology for the purpose of accounting and finance. So the first use case that we're going to discuss in this course is going to be how you can start using the new multimodal AI technology in which you can start giving out images to the model, such as Gemini. So we're going to be using, for this use case, we're going to be using Gemini, Google's Gemini, uh, because Gemini is really good at extracting information from images and then producing results. So if you want to sign up for Gemini, you can simply go up to gemini.google.com, and then you can sign up for your account and get an access to uh, Gemini's 1.5 Flash version. So in this prompt, basically what we're doing here is that I have given it an example image of a trial balance, right? So if you're from accounting finance, obviously you know what a trial balance is. It's used for the purpose of extracting all the information from ledger accounts and creating a balance account. So what we've done is that we've taken this as an example. In this, it's a trial balance for a company, Emilia Lamb Company, and there's an additional data information about depreciation and other cost information. Now, if you're creating the financial, uh, financial statements manually from this trial balance, such as income statement and financial positions, it's a really time-consuming process. It takes a lot of time. You'll have to go to Excel. You'll have to input all the data. You'll have to go here, and you'll have to create a sheet and you know, do all the calculations manually. So what I'm going to do here, here is that I'm going to automate this whole process by the help of a simple prompt, right? By the help of this prompt and by the help of this image. So what I've done here is that I've provided an image to the model. Uh, so I've gone here, I've added an image here using this option, upload an image. And what I've done here is that I've added this whole prompt, okay? So let me read the prompt for you. So what I've said is that this is an image of a trial balance for Emilia Lamb Company. The trial balance is for year ending December 31st, 2024. And then I give the instruction that I want you to create me the income statement and financial position by extracting data from this trial balance, right? So that's the whole point of this use case, that it's going to create me an income statement financial position from a trial balance image. Literally, you don't even have to upload a spreadsheet. You can just give it a simple trial balance from an image, and it's going to extract the information using multimodal technology. Then I give some uh, other, uh, you know, other uh, instructions, just clearly label the profit amounts, COGS, and expense figures in the income statement and, and the balance sheet. Perform the same action by highlighting the total assets, total equity, and total liabilities for financial position. And after creating the two statements, create an Excel spreadsheet and append the data in two separate sheets, label income statement and financial position. Below the trial balance is additional information that has to be incorporated in your calculations. Okay, for this last part, uh, it cannot do this part because Gemini has a restriction. However, you can perform the same action in ChatGPT and it will be able to produce you the financial statement. So here, what it does is that it produced me the income statement and the financial position. And you can see how amazing it is that it, it created the right format. It added the account title. It added the amount. It created the, the figures, sales figures, sales discount, returns, net sales, COGS, beginning inventory. All the figures are here. All the head of accounts are here. The GPs have been calculated. Everything is, is complete for you, right? And you can simply export this to Sheets and then let me export it to Sheets, and then you can simply create the, uh, the income statement in Sheets, right? Similarly, it does the same thing for you in financial position. It creates the financial position with all the head of accounts, current assets, non-current assets, you know, depreciation figures, uh, total asset amounts, then it created the liabilities section for me, then it created the equity section, and then finally created the balance. Obviously, you can... Uh, you can also do one more thing. Is it going to tell it to, let's say I tell it to reformat, reformat the balance sheet by, uh, by adding all the three, uh, all the three sections, let's say all the three sections, assets, assets, liabilities, and equity in one single, equity in one single sheet, right? So it's, I'm going to refine it a little bit to make it look more presentable. Sorry for the spelling mistake. Okay. So it's going to, what it's going to do is that it's going to create me a, a sheet in one single one, right? So it has done liabilities and equity in one, 
and it has done the assets in one, right? So I'm going to say, wait a second, let me refine it again. I'm going to say, by adding all one single sheets in this format. So I'm going to specify the format too. So I'm going to say current assets, or you can say non-current assets, non-current assets, then current assets, then you can say current liabilities. You can also play around with the order yourself once it has produced the output. And then we can say equity, okay, in this order. So like this, you can also reformat or reorder the arrangement of the produced output. And then it's going to reformat the whole balance sheet uh, for you. And it can reformat the information for you like this liabilities, and equity, okay? You say, I'm going to say maintain the sheet format. So like this, we're going to maintain the sheet format, and uh, here it is. Okay. So it's producing everything in one single sheet for you. Here it is. So now you can create the whole balance sheet in one single sheet without having to worry about, you know, creating the financial statements yourself. You can save so much time now and you can simply export this to Sheets, right? And such as, let's say I export this to Sheets, it's going to create me a spreadsheet and then I can simply use that inside spreadsheets and then you can play around with it. So let's say I open this spreadsheet, right? And here it's going to open up uh, the balance sheet for you. Here it is, account titles, amounts. Of course, you can reformat it, play around with it. You can make more changes to it. In the coming sections, I will also be showing you how you can use chat GPT for making changes in the spreadsheet itself. Gemini cannot do that because of the limitation. Chat GPT is capable of doing that. But it still is a really powerful thing. Think about how much time you're going to save in creating financial statements now, right? And how about you can create cash flow statements, you can create bank reconciliation statements, you can create anything just with the help of an image, and then you can export a sheet and start to, you know, automate your, uh, automate your financials. So this is the first use case of how you can start leveraging AI technology for the purpose of creating financial statements using images, of, so let's say in this case, trial balances, and then you can create income statements, you can create financial positions, you can reformat them, and then you can export them in sheets like this. This was the first use case. Of course, one more point to be noted is that AI can sometimes be a bit inaccurate in calculations, so always make sure to recheck the calculations. Here so far, it looks fine. So what you can do is, let's say that I want to tally the amounts. I can simply go here, I've opened the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this image, okay? Let me go back here again. And I'm going to minimize uh, a little bit. Okay. This is, the, this is the trial balance, okay? So what you can do is that you can open another window and then you can simply tally, okay, the sales figure is 2206,000. You can simply go back here and you can see, okay, the sales figures look fine. Okay, it is 2206,000. And then like this, you can check the figures just, just to get an idea that is the model picking out the right figures or not from the image. But it's still, I think, is accurate as far as I can see. It can make a few issues. You can always recheck it, but for starting uh, uh, starting to create drafts uh, of the financial statements, it's a really good tool. And you can even create full-fledged financial statements by adding more uh, information about what you want to uh, create out of it. You can even uh, calculate ratios, which we're going to be seeing in the coming sections. So this was the first use case.